All right, we are just checking out of the hotel now. And we've got our third and final day in Wahin. So we still haven't decided exactly what we're gonna do, but we've got a couple options. One of them is definitely swimming in the ocean at the beach because I didn't actually go in the water yet. And then there's possibly some zoo, jungle, safari type of thing. And yeah, we'll see what happens. One swimming. <laughs> Say goodbye to the beautiful pool. Bye bye. Cup and cup. Cup and cup. Say cup and cup. All right. First things first is breakfast. What? No. Oh, I was just talking. Ah. Oh. <laughs> First things first is breakfast. Since we woke up late, we missed the breakfast today. So, I'm gonna find a nice cafe and I'm gonna need an iced coffee. Oh, iced coffee and maybe a nice sandwich. Well, I got it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Alright, all right, we've got the AC blasting because it's like, you know, the usual like 95 or something Fahrenheit and we found a cafe in the Google Maps called Wake Up Cafe so it's about 15 minutes away we're gonna go there, it looks pretty good I need me an iced latte and they have something called like the Wake Up uh, or Breakfast Panini that looks pretty good so well, we'll see you guys there. Echo's dying of heat. All right, so we got 15 minutes. All right, so that was a little bit of a pain in the ass. We had to figure out where to park. And they have this little parking lot that's like around the corner, but we were asking, we didn't know, First we drove by and the street is so tiny and you know, you can't stop with the traffic. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt and then we had to call them and we couldn't figure out which street they're talking about. But yeah, the wake up cafe parking. So now we just gotta walk. Luckily, it's not too far. It's just the soys, the streets here are like really small and there's not really much parking. So like, I mean, little alleyways and stuff, so. But it's all right, we made it. Hopefully the food's good. Are you hungry? Hungry, 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 hungry. And he is, I don't know what he is. He just wants to pee on everything. Come on. They said Echo can come inside too, so at least that's good. All right, we made it. Yeah. Hey, can you get the door? <laughs> I said, can you get the door? You push. So you have the one I show you in the the picture. It's the breakfast one. I don't know which one you want. Uh, I think I'm going with ice latte. <laughs> Ice latte and I think the breakfast panini. That's right. That's uh... Ooh, bolognese spaghetti beef. Maybe I'll come back and get that later. Ooh, the pastas look good. Maybe get that later. latte in the morning is the best <laughs> I think the coffee hasn't kicked in yet for somebody 
Get a little bit of morning work done. Loving the farm. This is what it's like when I'm trying to eat. Eating, feeling so much better now with the coffee too. All right, so we paid three forty-five for that, so like eleven dollars. So the cafes like that are usually a little bit more uh, expensive because they're like a little bit more fancy, kind of like more normal prices. But uh oh, we got an ambulance here. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, so that place was pretty good. Like, I'd say, like, maybe 7 out of 10. Now we're going to head to the beach, and I'll show you guys some drone shots. It's a really cool mountain, like, right next to the beach, and it's going to look really cool. All right, we're back here with this huge mountain view. Who's that? to the beach now finally this is the first time i've been in past my feet since we've been here which is not good that's like the main reason i wanted to come to the to Wahine, honestly it was for the beach because i had been in bangkok too long but what a good view huh 
Yeah, it's pretty cool here. It's a nice beach, it's big, and there's not like too many people, so you have a lot of space. And the view is beautiful, and it looks like you can rent uh, jet skis. And then that's where we ate at the restaurant yesterday and tried all the new seafood. So yeah, it's definitely nice, and the water is nice and toasty. Oh, it's like bath water. You could just sit down. Oh, it's nice and warm. Don't have to worry about getting used to it. You can just jump right in. The view is amazing though. Oh my god. He's dog the two year. I can see you too. seconds ago Echo was trying to jump toward us because we were petting this dog and he could see and he was jealous yeah look now he's watching <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I tied Echo to the tree so I could go in swimming and I was looking over checking at him when I was like way out there and I was like he looks like he's going way farther from the tree than I tied him and then he's getting closer and we start going back and he's just coming to join us to play in the water and he bit through his leash I'm pretty sure he's done this a few times in his life the last time he hasn't done it for a couple years but he must just be sitting there chewing and he bit through his leash and then just came and joined us in the water bad boy he just wanted to go swimming but it's cool he's, he's not so scary like right now he would usually be scared and run out usually he's scared of the waves though i think but so this beach is like perfect for him because there's no waves i mean there's hardly any waves so that's why he came voluntarily Usually I have to like drag him in and then I bring him and throw him so he can practice swimming and he swims back perfectly. He swims so good but he doesn't like it. Then usually he just runs straight out. But right now I'm barely holding him and he's kind of staying pretty good. So I think it's because of the waves. Usually he's so scared of the waves. So this is a perfect beast for him at least. You little escape artist. He hates swimming, but he's so good at it, honestly. He's like perfect swimmer. He doesn't like it. So usually I take him out like this and toss him in a little bit above the level that he can stand at so he gets to swim a little bit. And then he swims perfectly, but then he just goes straight out because he's like mad at me. He's like, why did you make me do this? He's looking to see how deep is he taking it. watching my swimming <laughs> I'm usually better today I'm a little bit hot and tired and I didn't go swimming for like one year so I'm a little bit out of practice usually he's going like a sea line or something like so fast uh, 